If you're tuning in and you didn't see last week's episode, uh, Joe won immunity. Good for you, Joe. It was very dramatic. Uh, this week's competition, we're going to see who can be the least dramatic while having the most dramatic face. I'm going to win this because I'm so dramatic and I also need the money. So, and I'm gorgeous. They'll, they'll give me points for that because I'm so beautiful. And I don't think Joe should have won immunity. Yeah, no. So my name is Joe and I won immunity last time. So I really don't have to do anything. But this person named Rebecca thinks she's going to win. So I'm going to win. Are you finally ready? Starling's gonna win, cause she is better than Joe, and I know it. On to the competition. We're seeing who can have the most dramatic face with being the least dramatic. First up is Joe. the challenge um, everyone did horribly so uh, let me just make sure it's clear uh, who can be the least traumatic by having the most traumatic face you gotta make sure your face is traumatic but your body is the least traumatic so I'm gonna go um, I don't want to pay my bills and so I just want to win this competition and like I really need the money and because my mom is having surgery and she really needs help so I need to get the money for it. I can't get my eyes open. <gasps> I just wanted to remind everyone that I love judging. We have some amazing contestants this year. Um, and I also wanted to let everyone know that Joe cannot be eliminated this round because he has immunity. So getting into all that, let's let's do the judging. going home because you are terrible. Except for Joe, he has immunity. I'm not going home today and I'm not here to make friends. I personally think Starling should go home because um, his stuff was horrible, but I'm definitely Jeez, staying. Excuse me. I'm not going home today. Rebecca is because she has the weirdest. She's just a bye. Oh, so that's why Rebecca is going home. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not going home today because I have immunity and I want my mom I want my mom to stay alive so I need to get this. And I feel like the person who's going home today might be Starling. So um that's who I think is going home. And she not, excuse me. <laughs> she is going home. And um yeah. The person going home today will be revealed after this commercial break.
Going home today, it's startling. Leave. We don't validate parking. Like 300 bucks, good luck with that. No! You got the hacker! That's actual drama! They can go now, but I'm not leaving. <gasps> I am not leaving with you hackers are super weird. Okay, so now I'm really scared because I don't have immunity anymore. And I'm pretty sure that worker guy is gonna win. So I really hope he doesn't because I need that $500,000. I can't believe Sterling's gone. I know I wanted him gone, but it's still really sad. She, excuse me. All right, that's it for America's most traumatic. Wait, you forgot to say who has immunity. Oh, right. Uh, Mr. H, because I like him so much. Cool, thanks. Oh, nice job, by the way. Okay, now this is actually the end of America's Most Dramatic. I'm not paid enough for this. Your judges will get from me. can I say this to you? War is terrible, just awful. I cannot stress how much pain I've caused and have witnessed myself. I'm writing to you, not as a proponent for war, but as a witness.
I remember the last time we spoke to each other. And it wasn't on good terms. But the next time I see ya, we're gonna make up. I'm gonna give you all of my Bionicles. Bye. Every single last one of them. And some of the Star Wars Legos too. Don't worry, I'll be there. I'm not dying. I ain't dying today. So, oh, what did you have for dinner last night? Um, I don't know. Pizza. I, I, had, I had pizza. pizza. Wait, where was pizza invented? Like, it, it was I think it was Italy. Italy. Or ancient yeah. Egypt. What, what you Italy? playing with in your pocket? Ancient oh, yeah, this Wait. was from ancient Egypt. Um, Speaking of ancient Egypt, this I found, th this my grandpa gave me from a Egypt. And um, I'm pretty sure that all the cast and all the people who dug it up died. And I'm pretty sure it's super rare because it's the only one ever found in the world. And I'm pretty sure all the people that helped dig it up died, except for my grandma. Whoa, whoa. That's what I, that's what I want to eat. I just got a curse. Yeah, I got one in my blood. Wow. That's a Rubik's Cube, not an ancient artifact. No, this is totally real. Like, I bet if, like, somebody held it like too tight then you might die it says rubik's cube on it oh yeah well look it. i don't know that seems pretty scary oh what a mumbo jumbo if i squeeze it see <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he should have held that that tight. Yeah, me neither. I, I just think he shouldn't, like he shouldn't have thought it was fake. I don't know what happened. Same thing happened to my blood. Okay, so guys, do not grab this. This is, as you could tell, it kills people, so don't grab it. But it's so alluring. No, don't, don't do it. He's gonna grab that cue. Don't do that. Trust me. You will die. Hey, that's. It's finally mine. Reminds me of my blood. Nobody cares about your blood. I care about my blood. It's cool blood, right? Yeah. Look, now we're the only ones alive with this, it's with two dead bodies next to us and this cursed cube. Oh cool, it's mine. Oh, sweet, a Rubik's Cube. Well, I guess it's mine now. You're my only friend. 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 Can I help you? Uh, no. What are you doing? I'm um, distracting you. From what? From that. Yeah.
goods. Yeah. That was so easy, wasn't that? Yes, like, dude, I, he didn't even see me coming. I ran. Did you see I pushed him? No. That was, that must have been hilarious. It was. He, he fell on the floor. His face was all red. <laughs> that was, it was amazing. Oh, thank God you guys came. My cat has been napped. Oh no, did you see which way they ran? Uh, no, not really. I noticed that um, there was a kid like with a blue coat and he had his hood up so I couldn't see anything. And I was tr I was about to chase him and then I got a giant shove in the back and I fell over. Which way did he run? Um, he went, ran that way and he went around the bookshelves and I haven't seen him since. Okay, you think you guys can help me? Yeah, of course. Thank God for you guys. God bless you, detectives. Someone must have kicked it over when they were running. We should take a picture of the evidence. Yeah. Is there anything else here? I don't think so. Alright. Let's look somewhere else. I wonder what happened to that chair. They must have been really running really fast to get that over. Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. Hey, doesn't he have a blue coat on? Yeah, let's go investigate. You don't see that over here. Yeah, we should go investigate it. Annie has a blue coat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Apparently the guys that kidnapped the cat kidnapped too. Oh. Is there no level to this kind of evil in the world? Yeah. Hey guys, I got a couple of books to check out. Thanks for your help. See you later. <laughs>
Can I use your scissors? I mean these scissors? Don't you have your own scissors? Uh, yeah, but yours are huge. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. Whoa, where am I? Hey, where am I? Uh, this is an office. We're doing serious business right now, as you can tell. I'm typing. You're not doing anything. You're just pretending to do stuff. Welcome to the world of employment. Can I work here? Of course. You always work here. Where am I? The office. This is fun. But what are you guys actually doing here? I cut scissors. But what do you do when you're not using the scissors? I use those scissors. What if there was no scissors? Then I invent them over there. No, but like imagine if there's no scissors ever. You can't invent anything. Um, I do this. <laughs> what kind of special skills do you bring in the office? Um. One. Well, that's good enough for me. You're hired. Awesome! What do you want me to do? Sit in that chair and sit at the computer. Okay. So, what do I do? Do I turn on the computer? No! No! Do not hit on the computer. So, what do I actually do? To type like your life depends on it. Then you'll be fine. Fine from what? I don't get paid enough to tell you. Okay. <laughs> this is quite boring. Just get, did you get your report in before two o'clock and you'll be fine, okay? What report? Just do it. All I need is my scissors and a hard day's work. When are we gonna finish our work? When it's time to finish. When is time when is it time to finish? Just finish your report by 2 p.m. and you'll be fine. Uh, okay. Hello? It's the boss. He wants us to finish our reports by 12. But it's 11.30. Hey, no. I don't even know what to do. Type. I came here. Wait, you were always you were, here. Yeah, you were always here. What do you mean? What? Bye. Hey. Why am I back here? I left that door. Yeah, and you come back in from right there. Yeah, that's the door. Once what? you walk up there, then you, you come right here. Door. This is getting this is getting confusing. Hey, how do I get out?
Oh darn, another one of these security guards. Who do you think did it? I don't know. Who do you think did it? I don't know, but it's our job to find out who did. Well, we need a puppeteer. It too. could be the cat. Maybe. Or it could be the people on the wanted board. We should talk to the cat first to get the whole story. Good idea. The cat is dangerous. Don't let it under your legs. It will trip you and you will die. Did you have a personal connection with guard three? No, I did not. Did you see anyone else in the hallway? Yeah, I saw that kid right there. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, you. Well, I am a guard. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, it's you then, if you were the right there. You said you were in the, in the room when it happened. Well, I'm here at 3 p.m. Yeah, it happened at 3 p.m. I thought the witness said on the front car 5.30. No, it was 3. Well. Um, I was on the computer. And then I saw him. Why are you on a computer in a jail cell? Because there's one right there. Do you do a podcast? Yeah, it's Cat Fables Productions. That's cool. Were you the cat that killed thousands of thousands of mice? Ooh. No, I would not ever. But don't cats like mice? I totally didn't do it. I totally didn't. Then what are you in here for? I allegedly killed someone. Allegedly. Well, while you were talking to me, the suspect got away! Ah! Aw, oh, shucks. We should go to dinner to think about this more. Great idea. Let's go. Am I free? No. What? You're staying here. No! No! Yeah, it really is. I agree with you. Oh, come on. Have some of my delicious candy canes. We'll have two, please. Oh, no problem. There's one. There's the other. Enjoy! So, uh, what brings you here? We're trying to find a suspect for the killing of guard three. Oh, do you have anyone so far? Um, we have one guard and a cat. Cat? You mean... the cat? Oh, I have a long history with the cat. Yeah. I'm just glad it's locked up and not out. You don't want that cat tripping you up. How do you know that? I had a family member. Used to be the fastest dragon of us all. Cats are usually attracted to. Ugh. And like a laser pointer to a cat, the cat pounced. That was the last I ever saw of my poor brother. They have the final report on the body. We should go check it out. Yeah, for sure. See ya. Thank you. Is it not the guard? Yeah, it is.
well, Professor Lady. Oh, well, hello. Is that Professor Jones? And Professor Jonas? It is. Well, it's so good to see you again. Ah, well, let's go look at the body. As you can see, this man is clearly dead. You can tell by the fact that he's not alive. See, I have studied this field for many, many years, so I can tell when someone isn't moving. That means they're dead. As you can see here, definitely that it, it is there, there are scratches. Did she say scratches? <laughs> the cat! Uh, now I'm gonna have to take some more time to find out what the scratches specifically are. The guard didn't lock the door. Uh-oh, I think the cat got out too. Help, help, help! So, what's been going on in your life? What what's going, going on, on in here? <gasps> we knew it was you all this time after we had that interview with you. But it wasn't me, seriously. Then why is he sitting here in a podcast room? Do you do a podcast? Yeah. It's Cat Fables Productions. Because when you said you had a podcast. No. Uh, tell him. No. Let go. Let go. Please. Ah, let go. No. Were you controlling the puppet the whole time? Oh, I guess that solves our problem. The cat's been eaten by the dragon. And now you can tell that this, the, the, the gum on the end of the shoe is definitely still minty fresh. Detectives, oh my gosh, it's so nice to see you. Did you see the dragon? It had some mad candy canes. Mm -hmm. Have you been talking this whole time? Well, I suppose I have. Oh well, chip chip cheerio. Hold on, and now, and you can say, while you guys were talking, the real suspect went AWOL. <laughs> the real, the real suspect went AWOL. Hmm, well, how about this? Uh, while, you're, while you were busy interrogating me, that guard just got away. Um, but I ended up here because I was allegedly murdered someone. I don't know what to say. Okay. Action. Your eyes should be open. When you die, your eyes are open. The cat's in the oh, cell. Yeah, the cat's not there. Wait, oh, they have to find the cat. So Recording and action. No, 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 no. You have to have a pause. So this is what you're gonna do. Do 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 do. do. You just gonna leave me? You just left me. <laughs> Action. Cut.